Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about introduction to compiler design. In order to understand this class, we already discussed two examples in our last class and we have discussed about relocatable code. For understanding of this class, we already discussed it previously. Please watch those classes and come back here. We are in an assumption that you already watched that class. Based on that assumption, we will give the explanation here. So the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, introduction to compiler design. In our last class, we discussed that before we, we need to convert this high level language into machine level language. In order to do that, not only compiler, different programs are going to execute not only compiler, what's those programs and what's the roles and responsibilities of those pro programs. That is what we are going to discuss in this class. Assume that this is our high level language, C language we have chosen, hash include stdio.h. What's the meaning of this header file? Header file means we can access some of the code that present already present in this header file stdio.h hash defined z8 means hash defined function this is the main code main program main function hash defined z8 what's the meaning of this in the program wherever you find z replace it with 8 that is what the meaning of this macros hash defined we call it as macros in c language so now we have to convert this total program into machine level code so what happens how it is getting converted which programs are taking care of all this uh, conversion that is what we will discuss source program is the final the first uh, high level language which we have taken that we call it a source program this is first given to preprocessor the main goal of preprocessor is to convert these macros replace the macros means uh, wherever there is z replace it with 8 that is what the goal of preprocessor not only that it will do other things also we will place the comments in the code source program eliminate those comments so uh, there are many responsibilities these are the some of the responsibilities uh, in our subject this the, that understanding is enough we don't uh, study much about this preprocessor we will use this preprocessor to do some things some of the things are we explained here and the modified program is given as the output from this preprocessor stage this modified program is given as input to the compiler yes now it is the goal of compiler to convert this modified source program into target assembly code how this will convert how the assembly language code will be uh, come as output uh, from the compiler these discussions we will discuss in our next uh, coming classes uh, in the in detail we'll go in this subject we are going to explain only this part after coming the target assembly code this target assembly code is given as a input to the program called assembler program so for that program it will take this and convert the into the relocatable machine code so we discussed about relocatable machine code what's the meaning of that and how we do that that intuition has been provided in the last class so finally we will get the relocatable machine code but this relocatable machine code is given to this next step link and linking and loader will be there what's the goal of this linking software is suppose in this assembly code in this uh, relocatable machine code whatever the code we have written in that suppose if we are using uh, a code from some other package that is present in uh, another file it is not present that code is not present uh, in this file so where that file is how to get that file where to place that fly file place that file means in random access memory where we have to place that uh, this intuition random access memory intuition is provided in the last class that's why we are not again drawing random access memory and uh, explaining it so where to place in the random access memory if it is placed in some x location what's that address that address is going to get from this linking software and it is given to the loader the, and not only that library files will be there means already relocatable code is available for the library files in the bin and lib so uh, get that code if it is placed in random access memory somewhere 
if some other program is using the uh, package which we are we have called here so it is already in random access memory where that location all those things are considered here the loader will finally convert into our 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 program and the programs that we asked for help in our uh, file those programs all those comes under here and this loader program will finally convert it into target machine code target machine code means it is going to explain how uh, it is going to uh, execute uh, final code machine code ones and zeros code will be generated by taking all these library files and uh, whatever the files which we asked and the linker will get that files and uh, taking into consideration and convert it into final target executable code means machine code so these are the this is the what about the introduction of a compiler design from next clan onwards we will concentrate what's this compiler will do what's the phases of the compiler those concepts will be discussed in our next class hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you